Well, good morning and welcome once again to Ed's Orchids on this uh, bright Sunday morning. Now, the job I have to do here is this, uh, I'll put a label up, then uh, see how you can see what it is. The Mahina Yahiro Uliai. Now, it's growing through the holes in the pot. So I have this other pot, this round one, to cut the slots out. So I can uh, put it in that one and it'll be a bit like it's being mounted. But uh, I've got to cut some uh, slots in this, uh, in this round pot first. Well, what I have to do, I have to cut these slots out every so often. Uh, cut one, miss one, cut one, miss one. So I'll just do a couple and show you what I'm doing. So I just have to nick this at the top. Like that. Nick it at the bottom and then uh, cut it out. Go down with a Stanley knife like that. And that's gone. Uh, miss one and do the other one. Let's nick it at the top. Make it at the bottom, straight down with the Stanley blade, and there we are. So you get the general idea, we're just cutting every other one out. I'll not do it all the way around, I'll uh, make sure we're, uh, I've done this and then I'll, re I'll take this out of the pot and uh, we'll repot it in this one. Then they'll have the, uh, the roots, plenty of... <coughs> Excuse me, we'll have plenty of uh, room for the roots to come through these large gaps. Well, I've done that one now, and you can see the general idea to make plenty of room in and plenty of air can pass through and uh, give the roots plenty of uh, room to breathe. So we'll just uh, take this one out of the pot and uh, repot it in this one. Well, after coming to the greenhouse for repotting, it uh, make a bit mess in the kitchen. So, uh, so I've come down here now, and I'm just showing you this where you can see the root just growing through the little holes. This is where I make, uh, make I've made the big slots in the other pot. So we'll just take this out of the pot. So we'll just remove the labels, take this one out of the pot, could use the, uh, the same medium it's got in there because it's pretty new. I'm going to lose that, uh, that little root there so uh, I'll put a few more on. Showing, uh, I'll get the camera. Well, I've taken it out of its pot, and as you can see, there's a lot of dead roots. You know, the brown ones and uh, like these, they're, they're quite soft, but there are plenty of new roots growing there. So I'll just clean this up and get it ready for uh, repotting and uh, I'll show you when I've just taken all the uh, bad roots off. Well I've took all the uh, dead roots off which are quite a number of them and uh, I've just left the, uh, the ones that are alive on. Uh, there's quite a few uh, good nubbins growing all over the place. If I can get them. And uh, new growth looking very, very nice. So uh, I'll get this one potted up. Uh, I don't know about uh, about this one yet. I might, I might just take that one off. Well, there we are. It's all uh, potted up now. I've uh, rewired it to make sure everything grows up right and it doesn't spread out all over the place. So that one should be in there for at least. 12 months 
before it needs repotting. That's the BLC Mahina Yahiro Uliai. Only needs watering now and I'll be watering it with uh, with some calcium nitrate and a bit, a bit of extra nitrogen and a bit of uh, phosphate. It looks a bit drastic taking all those uh, dead roots off but they're not doing any good to the uh, to the plant and there's some live ones there and uh, I've cut layers now you know they uh, they throw the roots away every year and grow new ones so that's just what this one's doing well I've just noticed another one needs doing so I've cut up another pot as you can see and the one that wants doing is this uh, golf green it's one of those plastic pots that uh, if you look closely the the plastic hasn't all come out so it's almost like a pot so I'll have to uh, take it out and put one in here much better it would be so this one will evidently got some uh, bad roots on it again so we'll have to chop all those off and uh, make it good for another 12 months so we'll just take this out of its pot and uh, this should lift up quite easily, I think. Here it comes. Yeah, because that's not got any roots fastened through. Yeah. Now then, there's a bit of new root growth and loads of uh, loads of dead roots on. So we'll give this a good cleaning up as well. New growth, new growth there, the nubbins here, and all the new roots are coming out from the new growth. So uh, once again, see what's happened, the, uh, the roots are throwing off the old growth and virtually showing up, throwing off the old little plants like this, which I'll nip off. So I'll clean that up and come back to you again. Well I've cleaned this uh, golf green up the best I could, looks like I've chopped a load off there you can see, but uh, there's some nubbins on these lot with no uh, roots on the bottom so I'm hoping that they will put out some new roots shortly. So I'll get this one potted up, it's growing nice and upright so uh, just the way I like them. So I'll put this one up into the new pot and uh, we'll have a look at it when it's potted up. Well there's a the golf green all potted up now, looking very net well, uh, standing up upright, it's standing so upright that I've taken the wires off. So uh, keep an eye on that to make sure it doesn't spread around and now I've just got to water them. All well, the TDI of this uh, straight out of the uh, oil or water is uh, three. Now I've melted some uh, calcium nitrate in here in hot water, so we'll put that in and see what it goes up to. We're not after a vast amount of feed in here, but it's about 200, 220 is not so bad for the cat layers. So we'll just see what it is after we've put that in. That's up to... Seventy-seven, so that's fine. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Then we're going to add a little bit of uh, nitrogen. Now, nitrogen, as you know, makes them grow. Nothing can live without nitrogen. The problem is, if you give them too much, makes the plant leggy, it makes them grow too much. So I'm just going to put a little drop in. As long as they get some, it'll grow. Now a lot of people have asked me about uh, urea. Mm. 
I'm not familiar with it in feeds and I know some uh, people put it in but to, to me there's only one place for urea to go and you know where that is. And we're putting a bit of phosphate in here now. Right, and talk that's phosphogen. And talking about urea reminds me of when we were young. Uh, this was in the early 1940s. Kids used to get earache then. So what the parents used to do is they used to put the urea into their ears to cure it. Old fashioned remedies. And it seemed to work. But you never hear about earache these days, but uh, that's what they used to do. They used to put their own pee in their ears. Good. Sends shivers down your spine now, doesn't it? Right, we've put all the ingredients in here. We've got the uh, calcium nitrate, we've got the uh, uh, touch of uh, phosphogen in, and an extra bit of uh, nitrogen. And it's up now at uh, 198 so I'm sticking at that not putting anything else in so I'll just water them all with that uh, you've all seen people water before so uh, I'll just bring two in show you how much this uh, this medium is very light it runs straight through Here Actually, I just think it's November, it's the time of year I was putting the uh, the fish blood and bone in the, in the Fragmapediums. So, uh, and I've been asked to do a video on that, but uh, I'll do that. But uh, I don't know how long it'll be or what interest there is in it. But uh, I'll just make sure these are nice and damp because... Uh, you know, with cat layers, they like being really wet, and then they like being really dry. So, uh, you don't have much problem with these, wondering whether to water them or not. If you're wondering whether they need water, just leave them for another day and then do them. That's the golf green done. And this is the uh, Mahina Uriah. Phosphates in here should uh, help it to bloom and get ready for blooming. The nitrogen's there for it to grow. The calcium's there to build up the cell walls, and there's also uh, a little bit more nitrogen in the uh, calcium nitrate. So we'll give these a good wetting, and then it might be another four or five days before the. Uh, to get watered again. These of course are out of the house and uh, it's very warm in there so and I've got plenty of fans growing so uh, they'll dry very very quickly. Well that's about all for now I can show you. But, uh, I'm up to about 14 minutes so uh, I've got to keep it under 15 minutes or else everything gets cut off. So thank you very much for watching, thank you to my subscribers and if you haven't subscribed yet I wish you would do and uh, thanks to everybody and until next time i'll see you later bye